What's going on YouTube? Mike back with another TTM recap episode. I have a few TTMs to show off today. Um, they came in probably a while ago. I kind of figured out the dates um, by checking out stuff. But uh, these are things that I actually sent um, to my brothers in Maryland. And I just finally saw them and he gave them to me. So I figured, you know what, let me make a TTM recap episode and show them to you. So first up is Danny Tartable, a 5 of 5 success in 54 days. These came out awesome. Um, as you guys know, if you watch the channel often, I really like the blue signatures. But uh, black in this case worked really well. This black Sharpie is awesome. So this is an upper deck card from 1992, Home Run Heroes. I guess it was kind of part, of, it was like a subset, you know, it's, it wasn't, you know, it's the beginning of inserts, really. They were pretty common, but a really cool return um, there from Danny Tartable. And they just kind of keep getting nicer. Here's a 1993 Donruss signed in black. Looks really good. We've got a 1993 Upper Deck, which is outstanding. Looks very nice. 93 Upper Deck. One of the, uh, probably one of the more underrated cards uh, out there. Just a really, really nice design and just, Great imagery on uh, most of the cards. Very bright. Um, huge fan of 93 Upper Deck. I think uh, Wesker Griff might have been the one that kind of uh, got me uh, noticing them a lot with some of his uh, returns. Right here we have a nice uh, Royals one. Love these artistic ones. So that's really cool. Um, this is from, what is this, 1991? 91 Upper Deck. It's the uh, Royals checklist. So that looks pretty cool. Definitely a very nice card. And then this one's awesome. Shout out Caleb. You know your Flair fan. 94 Flair um, signed in black. Nice uh, nice Danny Tartable card there. So really happy to add Danny Tartable to uh, the collection. I mean, I've gotten Tartable back before, but these are cards that I hadn't. Danny Tartable is famous, uh, at least around Phillies fans, for doing nothing as a Philly. They signed him one year. He broke his foot in the first game or two of the year, went like 0 for 7 in his career with the Phillies. But uh, I also remember him fondly from Seinfeld as well. So consider it part of a Seinfeld PC, I guess. All right, next one up here. This was uh, probably set late in the season. It was a one-of-one one success, 47 days. Blue Sharpie, awesome card. It's Steve Ciszek, closer from the Mariners on an Allen and Ginter card. Looks amazing. As you guys know, I'm a huge Ginter fan. I think 2016 Ginter is uh, one of the best designs yet. Just love that background. Um, huge, huge Allen and Ginter fan. So, um, sharp looking card. Happy to add that to the collection. And then finally today, I have a Mickey Morandini to show off. Four of four success in nine days. This was sent late in the year. My brother got it back pretty quickly after that. Um, I've got a 1994 Upper Deck card, um, which is a cool-looking card and very nicely signed. Didn't realize until after I got it back here, and it's kind of tough to see. Um, there's a big kind of crease all around here. Um, you know, it's not showing up on camera too well. You can kind of see it. Anyway, it's very noticeable in person when you uh, look at it closely. If you look at it from a distance, you don't really notice. I'm sure I probably sent it that way because I think I found this one in a huge collection pile that I had when I was kind of flying through it that I got from someone. Um, but these returns are really cool. We've got a 1993 Fleer Ultra. Very nice. Looks outstanding. Really cool card. Fleer Ultra are tricky because when they come out well, they look great. And if they don't come out well, well, then they don't look so great. All right. And a 94 tops. Very nice return in there. 94 tops. Morandini, um, big member of the 93 Phillies. He's a coach with the Phillies now. And then for the starting lineup, uh, auto card collection. This is signed in blue. I think this was like 1997 or 1998, actually. This was a 98 starting lineup. So... Very nice return from Mickey Morandini there. And I remember when uh, the starting lineup came out, I was so happy. I was like, oh, they actually made a Philly, thankfully. Because the Phillies um, weren't very good uh, in these later years of this Phillies career, 96, 97, 98. So very cool returns, guys. Comment below. Let me know what you think. 
hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time. Have a great one.